Tonight, we're digging into flaws within our state judicial system, as well as potential solutions. This comes as a judge dismisses an Oklahoma man's murder case after nearly five decades. The longest serving exonerated man in U.S. history addressed reporters today in Oklahoma City. Fox 25's David Chasanoff spoke with Glenn Simmons. David, what did he have to say after 48 years in prison? Adam and Wendy here at the courthouse this afternoon. Simmons gave a lot of credit to his attorneys and his family. He says without them, this wouldn't have been possible. When you know you're innocent, you stick with it. Don't ever stop. Don't let nobody tell you that it, you know you can't. It can't happen because it really can. On Tuesday, an Oklahoma County District Judge dismissed the case against Glenn Simmons, who prosecutors originally charged with first-degree murder in the 1974 death of Carolyn Sue Rogers. This is a lesson in, in, in resilience and tenacity. Simmons spent 48 years behind bars, once facing the death penalty and then having his sentence changed to life in prison. I had my doubts a whole bunch of time. I'd be lying if I say I didn't, you know. This past April, judicial leaders discovered Simmons and his defense team did not have access to all the evidence in the case. So in July, a judge set the case against Simmons for a new trial, allowing him to be released on bond. A couple of days after that, I met all my great grandkids and everything for the first time. You know, so it's been exciting. It's been beautiful. Now there's more opportunities for those memories as prosecutors dismissed his case with prejudice, meaning it cannot be refiled. It's exciting. It's, you know, it's sure. beautiful. And I plan to enjoy myself, you know, whatever life I have left. You know, really enjoy myself and take it all in, you know, one day at a time. District Attorney Vicki Behenna gave six reasons for the court's decision. The most significant one being there is no longer any physical evidence. Everything about this field is right. And right. Now, Simmons says he's still in need of food, housing, shelter, and medical assistance. He currently has liver cancer and is looking to raise $50,000. We will have the link to his GoFundMe on our website. That's OKCFox.com. Reporting live in Oklahoma City, David Chazanoff, Fox 25 News.